Governor Raimondo telling us after surveying about 200 businesses over the past holiday weekend that mass compliance from employees and customers was close to 100%. Two Rhode Island women say, though, you can't always understand someone talking when they're wearing a mask, so they got an idea. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie spoke with them over a video conference this morning and has the story. We've been wearing cloth face coverings out in public for a few months now. One thing you might be missing, seeing someone smile. We always say, you know, you give a smile, you get a smile. This is the mantra Linda Greco and Linda Harnoir go by. Harnoir is a former English teacher at East Providence High School, and Greco is currently a first grade teacher at Thornton Elementary in Johnston. Hopeful to have classes in person this fall, she's aware face coverings will be part of the new normal at school. And I just couldn't imagine me covering up my mouth area when I'm instructing young children. That's when she got an idea. We need a mask that has a clear opening for my mouth so my students can see me and it would be great for them also if I could see their facial um, expressions. Then an experience at a drive through window set it in motion. And when the wait staff asked us for the amount, we couldn't understand him. So we pulled out of the lot and looked at each other and said, we, we have to do this. Using fabric from a local store, Linda and Linda got to work on a design that includes vinyl built in so you can see someone smile. In less than a day after putting their idea on Facebook, over 100 people, teachers, daycare staff, and more reached out. Caring impaired um, people have called us. I mean, who doesn't want to see a smile? I mean, masks can be a very scary thing. The women tell me they're donating a portion of the proceeds to local schools. More information is on WPRI.com. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.